Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So welcome to the lecture of this finite volume method and now we will start with the next level of discretization process. So just to recall where we stopped in the last lecture, we finished the discussion on our iterative solvers. So essentially the process that we have gone through, we looked at the diffusion equation, we looked at all the numerics related to that like how the discretization is done on a orthogonal, non-orthogonal, Cartesian unstructured system. Then finally, we derived our discretized system and once you discretize the system, you eventually get the linear system which is in terms of Ax equals to B. And then we had our discussion or we rather had detailed discussion on different kind of linear solvers along with the properties of the linear system which are essential for the discussion of the linear solver. So, we started with that and then we did discussion on some direct solvers or the rather direct approaches and those direct solvers made the platform for the iterative solvers and in the iterative process we started with the simplest one and then finally we added the increasing complexity to have better and better iterative solvers. And then finally we looked at the multigrid system how one can improve the performance of an iterative solver. So now we will move to the discretization process of our convection diffusion system. So if you look at our uh, equation. So, the complete equation was of this kind. So, for a any variable phi, we had the complete equation on rho v phi equals to delta dot gamma v phi plus some source term. So, what we have looked at it, the discretization technique and everything we have looked at it this portion. So, we did not consider the transient term, we did not consider the convection term, we just looked at this and we had our discussion on the diffusion equation which led to a discretized equation and from there you got a linear system. Once we get that, we had our discussion on the linear solvers and from linear solvers, we got different kind of linear solvers and the solution pattern which can get you the solution. Now, we will look at the term the convection term. So, this is the convection term. So, essentially we will look at the discretization of the convection term. So, though the pattern looks similar, but there are certain difficulties which are associated with the convection term discretization. It is not going to be straightforward like the diffusion term, because in the diffusion term you had a diffusivity coefficients where if you look at the convection term, the gradient retain the velocity vector. Since the flow field or underlying flow field is associated with the convection term, the difficulties arises. And how you want to proceed? We look at the 1D system first and then discuss some of this concept like how you discretize this. Then once one we are done with the 1D system, we will move to multidimensional like 2D or 3D. And also here we would like to discuss the orthogonal and non-orthogonal system and the corrections which requires 
due to non orthogonality. So, to begin with one can start with the 1 D convection diffusion system. So, this is steady state steady state 1 D convection diffusion system without source term. So, we will start with this. So, once we look at the convection diffusion system then we can move forward. Now, this particular system if you look at this convection diffusion system uh, one can find out since, since in the one direction one can find out the solution quite easily in the sense one can obtain the analytical solution of the same and how do you get that? The so, if you have a constant uh, cross sectional area, cross sectional area, then the continuity equation, the continuity equation or mass conservation equation can be written at rho u equals to 0 which implies rho u is constant. Now, using this if you look at that 1 D system then one can write from here is that rho u phi minus gamma d phi by d x equals to constant C 1. So, C 1 is the constant of integration. So, this equation if you integrate now you rearrange this term. So, one can write d phi by d x or d phi by d x equals to rho u gamma phi minus c 1 divided by gamma. Now, you do the change of variable and this guy will. So, that you say capital phi equals to rho u by gamma small phi minus c 1 by gamma then this will become d capital phi by d x equals to rho u by gamma capital phi. So, or rather this term will not be there you will get this. Then if you find out the solution, the solution would be in terms of finally, that phi is C 2 some constant and what you get and finally, when you write down the final expression this one can uh, on the small phi it will be C 2 gamma e to the power rho u by gamma x plus C 1 by rho u. So, that is the analytical solution. Now, once you get the analytical solution you can show in the particular figure how the solution would look like. This is in your 1D system and if you look at the elements we still follow. So, the analytical solution we follow the similar pattern like it is again uniform you have center C of the element C ahead of that east then E E W W W that means you follow in one directions delta X C would be delta X W all these are uniform then you have the phase fluxes E for the flux vector A C the surface vector is w is the west side surface vector. So, all these are and the center values are c w w w e e w. So, this is how we have followed exactly the similar notation in the diffusion system. So, one said that now the analytical solution between the points w and e one can write phi equals to phi w 
at x equals to x w phi equals to phi e at x equals to x e. Okay. So, one can find out the solution like analytical solution phi w by phi e minus phi w equals to e to the power p l into x minus x w by l minus 1 divided by e to the power p l minus 1, where p e l is called the picklet number. So, this is based on l based on l and which is defined as rho u l by gamma and l is the x e minus x w. So, that is the distance between these two. Now, one can evaluate the picklet number and then see how that varies. So, and once you change the in this particular equation, if you see this solution on the left hand side, it is primarily dependent on the picklet number and if you vary the picklet number, then one can find out how exactly the solution is varying. So, this is how the variation with the, so this is variation with P E L. Now, if you see how the variation is done, so this is the P L 0, so you get completely linear variation. Then as you increasing the picklet number, then you see the normalized length how the profile is varying. More and more picklet number the profile is getting a, this is the increasing picklet number and what is happening the picklet number is nothing but the ratio of rho u l by gamma. So, once this is 0 that means there is no contribution from the primarily from the convection. So, it was primarily diffusion then once you increasing the picklet number your convection becoming important or the effect of convection turn that u on the solution field is getting predominant and that is why with the increasing picklet number the profile of the scalar is getting varied. Okay. So, now we will start with the other portion is the solution of our convection diffusion system. So, once you do over a integration, so delta dot rho v phi minus delta dot gamma del phi d v equals to 0 that is the equation and one dimensional case v is u i that is the velocity vector. So, the conservation equation one can write from here that v c delta dot j c plus j d d v equals to 0, where j c stands rho v phi and j d stands for minus gamma del phi. So, this is convection flux, this is diffusion flux. So, once you transform this one using the divergence theorem, so this guy will become now essentially surface integral j c plus j d dot d s which is 0. Now, one can write that in a rho u phi i minus gamma d phi by d x i dot d s equals to 0. Now, the surface integral if you put over the fluxes over the faces 
this will become f n b c rho u phi i minus gamma d phi by d x i over phase dot s f equals to 0. So, that is a very standard discretized previously when we did the diffusion term only we had this term. Now, you got the convection term in addition to the diffusion term. So, if you look at the surface vectors and then put it back for this 1D element that we have shown this will become rho u delta y and so this will become the rho u delta y phi e minus gamma d phi by d y delta y e this is and then rho u delta y v w minus gamma d phi by d y delta y w which is 0. So, it is in the 1D case we get this kind of system or the now we will see how we get the discretized equation. So, we will start with them simplest one is the central difference scheme or C D which is called central difference scheme. So, we will start with that. So, obvious answer would be to assume some sort of a linear interpolation like what we did in the diffusion case. So, in that case at phase let us say E the phi x would be some k 0 plus k 1 x minus x c that is what one can assume. Okay. Now, what are k 0 and k c? k 0, k 1 these are constants and can be obtained at phase E. So, now what one can use actually this phase you can see these elements and using this phase what you can do that phi equals to phi E at x equals to x C and phi equals to phi C at x equals to x C. So, one can evaluate the phi E equals to phi C plus phi E minus phi C. So, that is a linear C interpolation x small e minus x capital C. So, this essentially one can use that Taylor series and find out that. So, if you look at the stencil here which is shown, so it is typically the profile for C D scheme. Then my phi E at the face here, so at this face it would be the arithmetic mean of phi c plus phi e by 2. So, this is going to be now once you use this and use in the discretized equation our discretized equation will become like rho u delta y phi at e minus gamma d phi by d x delta y at e equals to your rho u delta y e plus phi e plus phi c by 2 then minus gamma d phi by d x at east 
multiplied with phi e minus phi c. So, which is essentially equivalent to flux c e phi c plus flux f e phi e plus flux b e. And what are those components? Flux c e is nothing but gamma e delta y by delta uh, del x e plus rho u delta y e by 2 flux f e minus gamma e del y by del x e plus rho u delta y e by 2 and flux b is 0. So, the different coefficients you can obtain. Now, similarly one can find out for the waste phase and the waste phase it was rho u delta y phi w minus gamma d phi by d x delta y w which one can write rho u delta y w phi w plus phi c by 2 minus gamma d phi by d x w phi c minus phi w which will be again flux c w phi c flux f w phi w flux v w and the term which will be there flux c w is gamma w delta y w by del x w minus rho u delta y by 2. Similarly, flux f w is minus gamma w delta y w del x w rho u delta y w by 2 and flux v w is 0 that is what it does. So, what would be the solution? Now, once you put these things the equation of the discretized equation for the convection diffusion system. So, the equation of convection diffusion system would lead to A c phi c plus A e phi e plus A w phi w equals to 0. So, this is my discretized equation where you get A e equals to flux F e which is minus gamma e delta y e by del x e plus rho u delta y e divided by 2 e a w equals to flux f w gamma w delta y w by del x w minus rho u delta y w by 2 and a c equals to flux c e plus flux c w which would be rho u delta y e by 2 plus gamma e delta y e del x e plus minus 
rho u delta y w by 2 plus gamma w del y w by del x w. So, these are the coefficients for the discretized system. Now, once you get that another important condition because it is an uniform 1D stencil. So, you had delta y e equals to delta y w. So, now without loss of generality you can say this is 1 because it is a one dimensional system and also the continuity system provides now the continuity provides u is also constant thus what happens that since u constant rho u delta y at east face minus rho u delta y at west face this would be 0. And now also what we can assume that uniform diffusion coefficient which will lead to gamma e equals to gamma w one can say gamma. Then one can write that coefficients a e would be minus gamma x e minus x e plus rho u e by 2 a w equals to minus gamma x e minus x w minus rho u w by 2 a c equals to minus a e plus a w. Now, you put this coefficients back in your discretized system, then you get the phi c minus phi w by phi e minus phi w equals to a e by a e plus a w. So, this is what we get. Now, since we have assume if you assume the uniform grid, so that is another assumption. So, this solution can be written in terms of picklet number and like phi c minus phi w divided by phi e minus phi w equals to half of 1 by p l by 2 okay. and where l stands for x e minus x w. So, it is essentially the distances. Now, the analytical solution of this particular problem was also obtained. The analytical solution um, one can obtain by saying x minus x w by l by setting 0 0.5 if they belong to the middle of the system, then the analytical solution was phi c minus phi w by phi e minus phi w is equal to e to the power p l by 2 minus 1 e to the power p l minus 1. So, we will stop here today and we will take from here in the follow up lectures. Thank you.